it's Jillian, and if you hear some noise in the background, it's probably me knitting or my cat. And I will do my best not to have rustling bag, but cats like yarn and yeah. Anyway, today I want to talk about a little bit of something that was a bit irritating today. Okay, first of all, today for me, here and now, is the 13th of February. Tomorrow is St. Valentine's Day. My family and I decided to celebrate a little bit early. My brother's in town. I got off early. And so it just made like logical sense and stuff. Anyway, my dad decided he wanted to have like takeout from like a restaurant, like a halfway decent one. And so my aunt put in an order for some food. And then we, um, my dad was going to pick it up. And as soon as everybody was at the house, we were going to, um, eat. And I was really looking forward to it. I'd, uh, had no breakfast that day. I had had a light lunch. And, um, it, like... I very rarely get to eat at like 7 o'clock unless I'm off and that's like my preferred like 7, 7.30 time frame is my preferred time to eat and uh, normally if I get off at like 7 I might be able to eat at like 8 and if I get off at 8 I can eat about 9 because it takes me about an hour to get home so yeah things I have to deal with when working full time, I guess. Anyway, uh, when dad got home with the food, we started setting it out. My aunt and I had ordered dinner salads, which are these big plates worth of salad with like chicken and fruit and stuff in it. And you know what the restaurant had put instead side salads side freaking salads okay mistakes happen we double checked the the receipt said uh, our dinner salads and they were right but the bag did not have them so my dad and I were going to leave to go get the uh, salads and, um, my aunt tried to call the restaurant. They would not pick up. She stayed on hold. Um, I, um, got on hold with them, too, to see who could, uh, actually talk to a for reals person. And, um... We went to the restaurant, which is about 17 minutes away from my house. So that's 17 minutes from the house, 17 minutes back to the restaurant, and then 17 more minutes back to the house. Assuming that they had had the food and stuff ready, which is one thing we were trying to, like, get a hold of them for. Um... Like, if they had picked up, we would have said, hey, you forgot our salads, uh, and you'll have to remake this other food, because it'll be cold by the time we get home now, and that way they'd have it ready for us to go. Nobody answered. 17 minutes later, we got to the restaurant. I went in, asked for a manager. I had to actually go into a restaurant. I had forgotten my mask, so I grabbed, like, my dad keeps spare ones in his car that are, like, just the throwaway type. And so I grabbed one of those. I had to go into a restaurant with people in it. <sighs> no thank you. Not right now, at any rate. And it, it was fairly, it wasn't crowded, but it was fairly busy. 
I don't think they had them spaced properly, but whatever. Um, and I was not as concerned about that as I was with the food. Um, I went in, asked to see a manager, explained the situation, showed my ticket, showed the food, asked her nicely if she could remake the other food because it'd be cold by the time we got home and stuff otherwise. And, uh, she's like, yes, I'm so sorry that this happened. I mentioned the long phone hold. And that my aunt had been on hold as well, trying to get a hold of somebody. And she's like, well, I do apologize and we can see what we can do for you. And she walked off to the kitchens to get us situated. I went back to, towards the car. And I, had my aunt had called in the meantime uh, to ask me if we had gotten there. I said yes, the manager's in the kitchen, um, taking care of it. Um, I had to go inside because no one would answer the phone. And so I've now potentially been exposed to COVID-19. Thank you very much. And, uh... You know, I sort of went a little bit of a complainy, you know, like, I, I hate that they didn't answer the freaking phone. And my aunt was like, I know, I hate that you had to go in there for this. Um, because it, it was a little bit more crowded than I would really like and people aren't wearing the mask and <laughs> again. Anyway, um, she told me, my aunt had told me that she had been on hold for 25 minutes and to let the manager know that as well. And I was like, okay. And I saw an employee going back and through, forth through the kitchen. I was like, can you please tell your manager that my aunt had also been on hold? Um, to um, try and get help with our food situation and she had been on hold for 25 minutes and no one was answering the freaking phone and do you know what the employee said god bless her she said that they were not answering the phone and it wasn't even that th that she said that but she also said, like, oh, we're just not answering the phone. She's with this big old bright smile, like, yeah, take that, customers who are paying us with their money. Like, what the hell? And I even said that at the time. I don't normally cuss. But what the freaking... So how are people supposed to make orders? How are people supposed to make reservations for tomorrow? How are they supposed to tell the situation about the type of situation I was in? What if they had been further, what if we had been further away than that? Like, we're pretty fortunate that we have that type of restaurant relatively near us about 20 to 17 minutes away there's a few that are a little bit further away but those are like I've got two of them that are fairly close to me we're sort of sitting in the middle and like I don't know what if we had been further away what if we had gotten into a car wreck while trying to head back to you Hmm? Hmm? What about that? Hmm? But no, she was prouder than a cat who caught the canary that they weren't answering the freaking phones. And 
So, I went into the car. My aunt gave me a little bit of a lecture about cussing out in public. And, uh, when the manager finally showed up with the food, we double checked it. Because, <laughs> you know, once bitten, twice shy. And, I made sure everything was hot and good to go. And, I told her what had happened. I was like... Just so you know, my aunt was on hold for 25 minutes trying to get a hold of y'all. And I just talked to one of your employees who said that they just weren't answering the phones. Purposely. And she said it very proudly. And she said, well, I'll be looking into this. And I said, okay, thank you. And I don't feel like I was overreacting other than the one cuss word. And me acting just a little bit irritated. And I wasn't like fussing at anybody necessarily. But just like letting them know that they weren't answering their phones. Um, but anyway, let me know what y'all would have done in that situation. And I said the cuss word out of more of a shock than anything else. Anyway, I hope you all have a good rest of your day, and happy Valentine's Day. Remember to like and subscribe and all that other good jazz. It really does help me out, and I really do appreciate it. Anyway, bye.